Uh, let's continue with the implementing our login uh, sign up switch and that's what we finished uh, last time and what we're gonna have today Yeah, so besides the second uh, button and the switch from login to sign up, mostly it's just a uh, mirror code. Uh, the main thing here is uh, the scaling text and the uh, bouncing buttons. Let's start with scaling text. The principles are very simple, I just use the canvas draw text here about the text appearance paint is responsible for that so this uh, method set text align center is very useful, which changes uh, the matrix of uh, which you use to draw. Like instead of uh, top uh, left corner as zero point, you you use uh, center as a zero point, which is very useful for text which is line center. Then you can use uh, just width over to width of the screen center line text, which is which says uh, lots of uh, code. Yeah, and text size as well. It's all in, in paid variables. The principles are very simple. Just draw it. Just get the final starting position and uh, animate the value in between and the code got a little bit cluttered uh, maybe there's lots of duplication here but uh, it all goes in uh, this one animation which is kinda way too long the lower factor is that later well uh, yeah here it is uh, it's code for moving login and uh, so those are two different text views different text of course this is login and sign up Final position is uh, with over two, and uh, here's start x and fraction from zero to one. Yeah, it principle is very simple. I just saw that uh, he had uh, sign up, it kind of faded, so I played the uh, sign up from one to like half alpha over here in the buttons it seems uh, like complex animation but it's really simple we got uh, all our skeleton code uh, ready for drawing stuff as for code that's all that uh, we need to write just need to write it sliding from the side with the slight delay that is it was in the design so after end of this uh, animation we will with the slight delay we slide the button from the side it's pretty simple just move it over here and uh, 
transfer it. The best thing is uh, you don't care if uh, if a path goes uh, beyond or above the screen size. You just uh, increment or decrement values. So, for example, you don't care if this line goes to minus uh, 500. It's just not going to display anything. Minus 500x, which helps a lot in simplicity. Yeah, so here it is. Button five hundred milliseconds to the start delay of three hundred, and it's Just animating some values, uh, the core values are here, like this. Current left and current right are those here, those. And before that, uh, I uh, hide that button. Yes. This yes, current left and current right. To hide it before starting the animation. The principle is very simple. It's not a big problem to just slide it from the side first. But what about uh, bouncing it? And uh, if you don't know about interpolators, uh, how they work, you can check a post under video in description. But that's just uh, one line which you need to add. And here you go, perfectly like we want it. So in Android uh, by default there is a different animator, it looks different, not uh, like it was in design. It's gonna look like this, which was uh, too much of uh, bouncing. Some math equation. I took it uh, from Stack Overflow. Herbal names are uh, self-explanatory amplitude and frequency. I just played around with values to match the animation. It's 500 lines of code, yeah, I'm sure it could be reduced by refactoring. It was uh, fun doing this stuff and uh, you can check uh, source code uh, in description as well. And thanks for watching, bye.